What is going on everybody? Welcome back to The Common Coder. My name is Josh and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to delete a repository on GitHub. So deleting a repository on GitHub can be a little confusing. They hide it for good reason to make sure that you're not deleting all of your code at any given moment. And so in this video I'm going to show you where the settings are located and how to delete your repository. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, so to delete a repository, a few things need to be true, and it really depends on what type of account it is and what your access level is. So if it's your own personal GitHub account, all you need to be is the owner. So it has to be your account. Uh, you can't be a collaborator on another person's account and then have uh, the ability to delete uh, repositories there. You have to be the owner of the account that contains the repository. So that's for personal accounts. For organizations, so if you're part of an organization, either through your work or you contribute to maybe an open source organization, you either need to be an owner on the organization, so you need to have owner privileges uh, in the organization settings, or you need to be an admin on the specific repository. So on organizational accounts and for those repositories, you can set individual access levels uh, for the people that contribute to those uh, repositories. And in order to be able to delete a repository, you need to have either owner privileges for the whole org or at least admin privileges for the individual repository. GitHub also has some really good information uh, regarding this on their webpage. So they have a little section for deleting a repository. You can see the access limitations here. And then there's kind of a step-by-step -step walkthrough as to how to delete your repository on GitHub. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and walk through these steps here and show you exactly how to do it from start to finish. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've navigated over to GitHub here. And what I've done is created this repository called delete me repository, because we're gonna go ahead and delete this thing. So in order to delete this repository, like I said, assuming that you have admin privileges on your org, or it is your own GitHub account, if either one of those is true, you should see this settings tab here up on the navigation bar. So if I go ahead and click the settings tab, it's going to bring me to the page that contains all of the various settings about my repository. Now, as you can see, we're on this general tab here, which is exactly where we wanna be. And if we scroll down all the way to the bottom, after all of these various settings here, we get into this section called danger zone. And this lets us basically change things uh, in our repository that could have severe side effects uh, if we're not careful. So one of those would be deleting a repository, which we can see down here at the very bottom. So you can see this, delete this repository. Once you delete a repository, there's no going back. Please be certain. So this is actually not 100% true, and we'll look at this in just a second. But you can see here we have a red button that says delete this repository. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button. And it's asking me, do I want to delete this repository? Go ahead and click the button again. I want to delete this repository. And then it's going to warn me again that unexpected bad things will happen if you don't read this. As of right now, this says this will permanently delete the common coder delete me repository, wiki issues, comments, packages, secrets, workflow runs, and remove all collaborator associations. So a lot of stuff gets removed if you delete a repository, including, you know, any wiki information that you have, any issues that went along with it, any comments that have been made in the code, any packages that you may have published through GitHub packages, any secrets you might have set up for uh, access control, Workflow runs, this is going to be related to GitHub Actions and all collaborator associations. So as long as you're okay with all that, you can go ahead and click I have read and understand these effects. And then the very last thing we have to do, we have to type the name of the repository in the box to go ahead and confirm this. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is type my GitHub username, which is the common coder slash and then the repository name, which is delete me repository. All right, and assuming that you've typed that correctly, this button should activate and it says delete this repository. I'm gonna go ahead and click this. And now we can see that the repository, delete me repository was successfully deleted and I no longer see it in the list of my repositories here. All right, so that is how you delete a repository from GitHub. But like I said, there is a way that you can see which repositories are deleted and even be able to restore the repository in some fashion. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we'll go ahead and click our avatar up here at the top and then go down to settings. And inside of this setting page, we can see there's a bunch of options over here on the left hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and click on repositories. And you can see here that here are my three remaining repositories, but there is this second tab over here that says deleted repositories. If I click this, you can see that there are no recoverable repositories found in the common coder. It may take up to an hour for repositories to be displayed here. You can only restore repositories that are not forks or that have not been forked. And so since we just deleted this repository, we're seeing this message here. 
Now, if I wait a little bit of time, I should be able to see my old repository here on this page and possibly recover the repository from being deleted. All right, and after a bit of waiting, we can see that GitHub has done its GitHubbing, and we now have the ability to see our deleted repositories. So you can see here, there's a message that says, may take up to an hour for repositories to be displayed here. You can only restore repositories that are not forks. Um, forking is kind of out of scope of this video, but the basic concept is you have a repository, somebody wants to contribute to it, but they're not a contributor or an owner. Uh, they can fork that repository if the repository allows it and then make edits and changes and different things like that to that repository in your own GitHub account. And there's a process uh, for open source projects to allow merging back into the original repository. So it really depends on what your goals are, but definitely out of scope for this video. So this will only work if the repository is not a fork or it hasn't been forked. So you can see here, here's my delete me repository. Now this process is detailed inside of GitHub's documentation. So you can check out this uh, documentation. I'll have a link down in the description, but you can see here, it's got some information about repository restoration, basically what you're allowed to do, what it actually restores. So there are some caveats to restoring a deleted repository. So you can only do it within 90 days. It can take up to an hour after the repository has been deleted and restoring the repository will not restore any release attachments or team permissions issues that are restored will not be labeled. So you don't get the exact same state of the repository back after you've deleted it. Probably not a big deal if it's just a small project, but if it's something that people have been working on over time and you have issues and various things associated with it, you're gonna lose a bit of information when you do the restore process if that's something you need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click restore. It tells me here that this repository will be in a public state when it's restored. I can go and change the state in the repo once that's done. And then also any team or collaborator permissions that previously existed will not be restored. I'm gonna go ahead and click I understand. And you can see that it says that it's done. So if I go ahead and refresh this page now, you can see there is no more recoverable repositories for my account. And if I click my repositories tab, here is my restored repository. All right, and that is how you delete and restore a repository on GitHub, and that is going to go ahead and do it for this video. So thank you so much for coding along with me today. If you like this video and found this information valuable, please give me a like down below, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're gonna be learning a lot more about Git, GitHub, and web development, and I would love to have you along for the journey. So until next time, be sure to stay curious, never stop learning, and I will see you all in the next video.